Now, I remember when you first kind of, you know, came out, a lot of people questioned the Oak Cliff credibility. And I remember you going back and forth on IG Live about, you know, you being from Oak Cliff and things like that. Because, you know, being from Oak Cliff in Dallas is like a staple. You know, it's like Yo, a bragging for show. right. For shit show. And a lot of people were coming out of the woodworks and saying we never seen him around town and we don't know this guy, you know, things like that. Like, how did you overcome that? Because I know that's a lot of, that's a thing that a lot of guys I mean, have to overcome. Yeah, I think that's what comes, that's what, I think that's just what comes with being a popping artist. Like, they made the, uh, they made the little top Oak Cliff list. I was the number one person on the list. You know, Oak Cliff big, big as hell. Shit, this my, this being, this being my first project type shit, you know, my first, my first single, it looks like I'm Boom, coming out of nowhere. But shit, everybody that's everybody that's really from the city, everybody that's really having motion in the city, like you know, that's why they, that's why they kind of came to my came to my defense with it. Like it's kind of like everybody that's really having motion is really somebody in the city. They already know what it is. And a lot of these, a lot of niggas niggas done been to my crib, you know. So it's just a lot of you gonna have the little small guys in the back. Ah, I ain't never seen them. I, I ain't never seen you neither. You probably will never see me. You know, like we 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 running different. I'm I'm kind of more in crowd. You kind of more uh. You probably never see me. Mm. And outside is out. It's going crazy. I think at the time it's gold. You decide to work with Trap Boy Freddie. Yup. You know, and that's somebody who's from Oak Cliff also, but that's a that's Mo 3's arch enemy. Yeah. And you just went. You just went gold with this guy, and you're work now. You're working with his his biggest op. Yeah, his top know. op. Yeah. So the city kind of looked at you like, "What are you? What what's going on? Like, why are you doing that? Like, what are you doing?" And shit, you know, I think that was and in, in the fact that motherfuckers was feeling that way. I think was part of the reason that made me go so head headstrong in that direction. Cause that, as a matter of fact, that's just who I am as a person. Like. You telling me I can't do X, Y, and Z? Uh, I'm doing X, Y, and Z, but, but shit, you know, I, I think coming from the D, I think that's that's just been something I've I've wa I wanted to do. I wanted to work with Three. I wanted to work with Freddie. I wanted to I want to work with Yella too. Like coming from the city, that's just what you know when you're when you're an upcoming artist, that's what you want to do. And shit. Niggas talk about picking size. If I if I was on some pick a size shit, there would not be no. I'm from Oak Cliff. If I was picking size, it wouldn't even be no Mo Three outside. If I was picking size, I feel I think me working with three shows shows my stance on the situation right there. Like I'm an Oak Cliff nigga, and shit, I got three on. I got three on one of his biggest records he's ever had. His 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 only record to go into the High 100 is with a Cliff nigga. What do they say about that Oak Cliff versus North Dallas shit? They say that shit dead. That shit ain't even real. You know, a lot of people ask me for my opinion, and you know, I, I felt you like it's not your beef. Like, um, it, it, it's not your beef. It you were keeping it strictly business, but I always say the the fans are always right. Like whatever the fans think, it is it, it, just it, that's just how the music game goes, and. I felt like it was a little too soon, but at the end of the day, you were just keeping it strictly business too. I feel you. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. And you know, you're right. The fan, the fans are always right. But you know, in that situation, it's like even before before I did a song with Freddie, I'm getting DMs. Hey, when you gonna go slide for three? You know, like the fans is always right, but in, in in a situation like that situation, you can let your if I don't work with Freddie, it looks like I'm it looks like I'm kind of, you know, it, it looks funny, so it looks funny. It looks like I'm pro this or pro that when, you know, I want it to be overstood. I want it to be overstood that that's not the case. Like I don't want for me to be sitting here faking like some of these, like you say, the fake love you get, for me to be faking like I like I know three personally, like I've ever met Mo Three. For me to be faking like that is that's cap. And that's and that's and that's and to me that's fake. You know, to me. Yeah, I felt like you were stuck in a situation to where as though if you work with one side, oh, he's picking a side. Yep. 
If you work, if you work with both sides. Oh, he's yeah. He, you, you, you being in the yeah. middle. It's damned it, if you do, <laughs> damned if you don't. But shit. Yeah, because because that's the situation I'm in a lot of times when both artists are interview. Mm -hmm. I'm interviewing two artists, mm -hmm. and if I only interview this guy, I'm on his side. If I interview both sides, I'm messy. Yeah. So it's a lose lose. It's lose lose. But shit, you know. Like you say, like as long as you genuine with it, shit, a nigga just gotta be. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta work your move. Like when they be hating on you for doing that shit, fuck them. You know, you work your move and you stand on your shit, shit. You know, that's what we standing on, shit. We working with, we working with, we working with everybody who's making noise. Period. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fucking with your beef, shit. Like your op is not my op. I don't know you. I got real, I got real situations going on. I'm, I'm losing real friends. Like I don't. I don't know you. I don't long long live three, but long live Freddie. Long live Tay. Long live Clyde. Like, like let's talk about it. You know, like yeah. I I talked to Trap Boy Freddie. Uh, we just recently did an interview, and you know, he stated that he kind of warned you, like, yo, are you sure you want to do this? Are yeah, you he sure? was always genuine the, and solid in our in our interaction. The internet made it. Cause the internet tried to make it seem like Trap Boy was using you as a pawn, nah. but 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 he 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 stated to me like, no, I warned like I I, I asked him several times did he want to do this? Yeah, so see, yeah, for shit show, Freddie was Freddie always been solid in every conversation we had. Freddie always been like, you know, uh, hey, shit, we we'll, we we'll wait on it, wait on it, you know, let's 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 get the record, we we, we the record hard, we like it, but wait on it. But see, with me. And I and I listen to him, but shit, you know the ch the chitter chatter, the chitter chatter. Everybody telling me I can't do this and do that. Fuck it. Uh, boom. Here y'all go. Like that's yeah. just how. That's just, and that's just me. Shit, you know. Like, and sometimes I get I can same same with the uh, tech situation. Sometimes I can get pulled. You know. Sometimes somebody push me a little bit. I'm gonna push you back every time. Like, I some just. 